Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam here with a review of a vintage trumpet. This is a Con 12B. And uh, some call it the Caprion because the bell, as you can see, opposed to the body of the horn, which is yellow brass. The bell is uh, made out of copper process that they call the United of Copper Eons. So they call it Caprion. And um, the benefits of the Caprion bell is supposed to be projection and also a darker tone. And of course, when you get into darker and brighter tones, there's um, a lot of discussion that can follow just those two words. But um, some prefer calling it intimate for um, more of a closed in feel. However, you not only get the advantage of the more intimate sound or the darker sound with the Caprion bell, but um, it was designed with a denser structure to project very well. At its time, a uh, number of big bands, I think um, one of the more popular big bands at the time, they all played the same horn, which was the Con 12B, the Caprion trumpet. Um, this horn is from 1938 or 39, which I believe is when they began making this model of horn. Uh, I believe that I've read some of the serial numbers indicate um, 37, and that would be, of course, then using an older valve block or older parts. But uh, this horn, I believe, is the first year that this was made. Originally, and I did have one of these from the 50s, originally on this model, which was the first model of the Caprion, they had a rod that connected the tuning piece with the main body of the horn. And through the years, they disappeared. But um, amazingly, the valves, which Con made, are tremendous. I believe they did call them Christile at this time. And uh, they are just phenomenal, very well preserved. And this horn is actually in quite good shape. There is one small patch, which is right here on the tuning slide. And, um, of course, when I began playing horns, nobody wanted a patch. The first trumpet that I got, which my dad bought me at the Salvation Army, actually had holes in the bell. Three holes, if I remember correctly. Uh, and I had a few uh, old super a few years ago that had three patches on it. And only after I sold that horn did I realize what an excellent player it was. Sometimes the indication of a patch is a badge of honor for a horn that has been really well played. And this horn, 80 years old or so, right close to 80 years old, hard to imagine, just wonder how many hands have held and played it. Since it is uh, designed with the Caprion bell to give a darker, more intimate tone, we're using a mouthpiece that will complement that, and I'll try and give you a rough idea what the Caprion can sound like for an intimate jazz setting. Mouthpiece, 
the projection of the horn, and still, you're not getting a shrill sound out of it. We'll try the same number when the saints go marching in. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.